Hello everybody, Sift here again with another bio prototype run and today we're gonna be doing a run with nature. So what nature gets is regeneration of roots never decays. That means I can use the roots as deep into the build as I want, as unless it's not this, but this is what I think it means. Offsprings have no fertility, so that means we cannot have offsprings. Who cares? We're not gonna go with offsprings and then take double damage, which also who cares because we're gonna have like roots healing us and whatnot. We're gonna go stage three as always and off into the run we shall go. So this guy starts with some dragons. I guess he starts with a... Yeah, this really feels like he starts with a jackal. Because he's throwing out these dragons pretty fast-ish. Pretty often at least. Even getting some crits. I like that the crit has this uh, splash animation now going on. Of course, uh, we're not really something to write home about here. But even if we miss like some XP in the beginning, it doesn't matter. We can go with starfish. Uh, hopefully... Can I see the build for a moment? Yeah, we did have a jackal. Haha, <laughs> I'm playing this so often. I now know some basic things. Oh, this connects to everything. Oh, this is a god dragon. <laughs> like, look at this. Uh, I guess I should try to get a spine or a nerve or something. So I would say let's go with the starfish for now. And we're going to go with a boxer. So we can now say this is a nerve. So we're going to go like this and then into this, into dragons. Uh, excuse me? No, this is a limb. Well, I guess we're going to go then dragon into boxer into starfish. No, this is also not a... Uh, I failed completely. It's okay. I'm gonna say let's start with the uh, starfish. I think the starfish is just a smidge better. Yeah, this is the shotgun here. It is a smidge better at attacking opponents. At least in my opinion. Let's go into the run itself. Let's continue having those stars. A lucky star. I'm a visipo. Visipo. I mean, uh, by the way, these things seem to be tracking. Like, the star seems to be really good. In general, it seems to be good. Um, actually, it seems like one of them is tracking and then the rest is not. That's how it feels like, right? Like the very the very first one is targeting the closest one and then the rest just follow into the star shape. That's how it feels like the star works. And if that's the case, then so be it. It's a good weapon. 47. I got another unboxer, but this time with tentacle, not with limb. So we're going to take that. And we're going to go with a germ rat, which is a limb. So I can combine all together and we're going to have a powerful build right away. So we're going to say the stars, when they hit, they throw out a loop de loop de dragon and then when that hits it explodes right uh yeah i mean right let's go <laughs> that is the build so every time we hit something we're gonna get a dragon oh no the dragon is as far away as the hit that we got is so if something is very close that's when we hit it hit it we get the dragon next to us if the enemy is far away then the dragon's far away too i mean that creates like this zone of defense that we have around us so that's actually pretty decent powerful and useful and we just found a poison thing so we're gonna of course change the explosion thing into a bullfrog combo that we always go for now the plan is to get roots in general like that is the plan so that they can create a root build with um yeah with roots i don't know to just just have a bunch of things going on is what i would like to see nice we got the bag of thorns the infinite poison stacking one monolith sludge for for money i guess Connected units affected by poison bag or belly with beams, damaging them the caught beams. Actually, this this could really work out. Uh, this is a gland. I don't really have anything that fires glands other than you know the starting one, as it always is. So, but uh, this is money. I mean, intestine of the monolith. Do I have anything here that connects with intestine? This does. So leave intestines on the ground. Yeah, I could connect this with an intestine. Three second activation time, though. This has a three second duration, so this is not even working. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go with the sludge. And uh, I would enjoy going for one of these two. Cochlea is the if it if it expires, which is a lot easier to actually activate. Spine is wild or mid flight. And cochlea, once again, it's when it expires. We're gonna go with this cochlea in case we get a cochlea here. And we found a bullfrog. So, uh, of course, we can now make the dragons have poison all the time. I think this is a play. This is contributes on kill, activate something else. This is also good in general. Don't get me wrong. Well, let's get this. So we have a thing going. So we're going to go loop de loops, poisons. And then I can't really do anything with a poison, but so be it. I can also not do anything with the rest of these. Uh, this is definitely a throwaway. Although we will be poisoning opponents. So theoretically, this is not a throwaway, but whatever. Let's go with organ quality as we always go here in the beginning. And into the run, we shall go. The game is patching pretty often, by the way. The game is patching pretty, pretty, pretty often, which is, of course, good. As, uh, yeah, we I see differences in a lot of areas. I'm, I'm looking all over the place for what they change, right? Because the patch notes, I'm either not reading them correctly or they're just not putting them out there correctly. Or, or, or the patch notes are shown in the Discord, which I haven't joined yet. Maybe I should do that. You know, that's a thing. People joining Discords for their patch notes. So maybe I should do that so I can read the patch notes and actually be uh, correctly, uh, I guess, um, 
I know the data, so I know the correct information. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, but uh, what I would try to say is that they also changed out the characters. Like, these characters didn't exactly do the same, or at least the wording wasn't the same on some of these. So now it's more understood what exactly their abilities are, and in general, what the differences between them are. Nice. Uh, I guess I could go with a mammoth with a gland. Uh, offspring. Not offspring. I would like to get something with traits. Uh, first of all, we could do with a slimy, but not really. I would say let's take this. Maybe I could activate the gland somehow with the second brain. I mean, I just sold the brand, so that's not a thing. Yeah, let's get the fast activating tentacle spawner. And we found ants. I mean, this is uh, yeah, this is an offspring, and my ability says that offsprings are literally unable to function. So this doesn't even do anything. I'm, I don't want to take this. Let's get this. I would say let's create the second brain just so that we have it. I mean, it costs 100, and then also organ quality, of course, as always. So uh, let's get the second brain going. I would say here, tentacle boom. I have a machine gun effect. And then, uh, yeah, that's it pretty much because this only connects to Cochlea. Oh, I actually kept this. Well, if I kept this, then we're going to go here into this. So every 2.5 seconds, we're going to connect them. And then while they are connected, might as well machine gun effect, right? I mean, it is something. Let's go with, um, I would say, movement speed as one health is not going to really help us as we take double damage anyway. So uh, having, <laughs> you know, having five life or six life, if you take double damage, <laughs> I don't know if you know, but it's the same. Oh, did the laser just do 100 damage? Yeah, it seems like the laser is doing 100 damage, which is on the higher end of things. Yeah, 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 60 to 100 damage. Very nice. So this is actually really good. So whenever something is poisoned and whenever the laser actually hits, it's as if it, you know, does like a snap attack. It connects them with 150 damage laser or I guess 70 damage laser, depending on how many lasers are connected on them. Wait a minute. If they're poisoned twice and thrice, do they actually have three and four lasers on them? Uh, maybe that might be a case. I mean, regardless of it being a case or not, I do enjoy this. We poison them and then we lash the laser on them and then the laser just snaps it out, snaps them out of existence. So I know I'm like theorizing here about the random things I'm saying, but um, the visual effect of how it actually works is something like that. Oh, no, 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 I didn't get in time. Well, oh no, I did get in time. Here it is. So I can see if that works. Monolith. For the poison thingies on the ground. I mean, theoretically, but honestly, let's get the with the wyvern poison. Because why not? And uh, now I can get the slimy with the poison bag. Uh, between those, honestly, I guess we're gonna go with the... Uh, I guess we're gonna go with the snowman. I, I mean, these are all mediocre. Let's go with... Uh, this also connects them with bags, etc. Let's go here, so we have even more lasers going out. So when the laser goes out, they throw on the ground and our poison... Yeah, that's it for now, I would say. Uh, these are useless. I want to see if this even functions. Right, the plan was... Yeah, I'm gonna protect these for a moment uh, with control. Protect it. And then let's say, here this, boom, 100%. Yeah, zero instantly, because that's how this character works. So this is not gonna work, and this is also not gonna work. Anything that has to do with summons is literally not gonna work for this character. So good to know. Can I connect anything here? Not really. Uh, I would say let's continue with the run. 306, we're gonna go with a bunch of quality and into the run we shall go. I still believe we have a decently powerful build here, so I don't need to invest into something further. Uh, so theoretically, whoever's connected with a laser at some point, once every one point something second is gonna leave a poison trail on the ground. <clears throat> I would prefer to do this thing with the laser somehow else. But this is very powerful. No joke, like we poison them, uh, lasso them, boom, they're dead with 100 damage lasers. And this is also going to work on the boss. So that's the that's the important part. That the moment I poison the, bo the boss, the laser snaps, fly out, everything is toasted. And it also makes it so that, you know, even if a bunch of opponents are alive, at some point after three seconds, boom, laser flies out, they're done. Love it, love it, love it. It really feels like a lasso effect. It really feels like a snap effect, actually, like a whiplash. We throw it out and they just explode. It's uh, This is enjoyable, and it's not like the poison is once again breaking everything. It's mostly the laser that's doing the job. The poison just helps facilitate this combo, which uh, I like. I like uniqueness in this game. I do enjoy this just uh, let's try new things. Let's try the laser beams. I guess the glands, to be honest, because glands are the lasers. Chimpanzee, a good one uh, with a little bit of everything. I would say yes. I also enjoy this with our contribute to kill, but whatever. Gargoyle, that could help us. That's the dodge chance thing uh, with lungs. So while I'm activated with this, I can activate something. I'm going to take it out for money at least. Nairwall, the very, very slow thing uh, with belly and poison bag. Mm, 
I mean, Betty is good and whatnot. Turtle, this is stationary. Well, you stay in stationary. This is so bad in general. Let's get the normal and most likely sell it at the end of the day, but can't really connect anything here. Actually, no, I can. So while these guys... You know, this part is just straight up not happening. So while they're connected with lasers, they, I guess, explode once every 127 seconds. The steel stays on the faster high end. And the rest pretty much stays the same. Uh, when they're poisoned, they also throw out buffs, I guess. Because, uh, you know what, no, when the, while they're poisoned, they throw out poison and they pretty much poison themselves even further. That's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna throw out the Nerval. This this doesn't really feel that good. I could connect the poison back with that, theoretically. Spine and lung. Uh, yeah, you know what I could do? Look at this. We can go here. And now we can say, give me this poison. And I can say, for example, every X seconds this poison happens and then connect the rest. So while... Yeah, but this says that the opponents that are poisoned... 21 damage, by the way, which is a lot, are gonna be doing the damage. Uh, not really that good, in my opinion. You know what, let's let's protect this again. And let's uh, disconnect this completely. We're gonna reconnect this how it was. And you know what, I, can I buy a new brain? I can't really buy a new brain. Would be nice if I could've. I do want to keep these things going. Um, well, if I'm gonna keep these things going, might as well go how this was. And uh, let's continue with brain quality. Uh, organ quality. Let's also get the movement speed. I, I, HP is once again useless. I guess I should sell something for 100 coins here. So let's sell... Let's sell the Nerwall. I think we'll believe... I still believe the Nerwall is pretty mediocre. Let's go here. Puffer at least fires off. Puffer is almost a permanent effect. Nerwall is just... Too slow, I would say. Nerwall is just too slow. Um, and also doesn't uh, function for that often. I mean, look at this. Opponents are trying to surround us, but guess what? If you get poisoned after three seconds, you will get snapped into out of existence. And not only do we have this one poison style now, we have two poison styles. Uh-oh, we just lost two health. Now we are closing into death. Uh, the only thing I'm a bit sad about is that you find different opponents in difficult, uh, different difficulties. And I do enjoy that they have different visual components to different bosses and different enemies that you fight throughout the difficulties. And I a little bit miss that. So maybe at some point I'm going to rotate back into higher difficulties or, or even lower difficulties just to get them. Uh, but honestly, the lower difficulty is that the opponents become weaker. And I don't want that. I do want the opponents to be hard. I just want us to not be trash. That is my prerogative. This is like a... this this At this point, you know, it's no longer hate for the system it's more like a statement as i said yesterday like it's a statement about make the game feel good without actually changing anything right instead of you take double damage make it opponents do double damage or you know the opponents do one more damage hey we found the sludge with poison bag this one is obviously better than the one we had i also see the bullfrog but whatever retina of the raven with limbs and tentacle when they contribute to kills we're definitely gonna take that that's a very powerful one. So I'm going to say we're going to put this here. It's pretty much exactly the same. And now I could put this, I guess, nowhere, right? But I could say when the laser snap contributes to a damage, then explosion. You see, that's that's better. And this is actually happening. Like, this laser is doing that. So when they kill something, it explodes. Uh, could I put... Now that needs more brain power. Could I put something back here? I don't think I can do so. I don't really have weapons anyway. Could I put another laser whip somewhere? Not really. Lemon tentacle. Well, that's the same. It just attacks a smidge slower. So when the laser happens, well, if the laser contributes to damage, it explodes. I guess I should say when the laser contributes to damage, it shoots out triple bullets. And then once in a moment, they explode too. That's, that's a smidge better in my opinion. So we still got the run going. Let's continue with these. And I'm going to say let's go HP twice. I guess once. 199 is not enough. Let's throw this away. Let's go with uh, twice HP, so now we can actually get hit one more time. I still haven't found a single root, which is supposed to be what this character is good with. So uh, we are lacking on that front. Yeah, but now it is actually happening. Now the machine gun effect is actually happening. So nice. Whenever opponents die from the whips, they just start machine gunning all around. So they give us like a little bit of a leeway here with DPS. And uh, I really want to see this madness that I tried to set up with roots. I haven't found a single root. Of course, the shield root would be best if possible to be gained. And healing root is also decent. I haven't ever done like a build with it. I had yesterday a healing root. 
but it's not like it did anything. <laughs> like, we, we had so much shielding that the healing didn't really matter. Whoa, 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 stay away from me, please. Nice. It takes a while for the snap to happen, for the leash to throw out and destroy those opponents. But when it happens, well, opponents go down very quickly. I think the time has come to amass a couple of coins here for a next brain. I almost got hit, but I didn't. Oh, I just realized I, I can loop opponents around. These fast opponents, I can just run towards them and then last minute just swivel away and just do like a loop around them and they're not gonna be hitting me when I do that. Nice, that's actually decently good to know. And we just got hit by those set opponents. As uh, regardless of what my theory is, they are still fast moving opponents that chase us down. So there is that. Run into opponents, doesn't really matter, I have 3 life and we got all our money that we wanted. We got a boxer, nice. A slimy legendary, I guess I would sell it if anything, so let's take it. A jackal blue, I enjoy that for sure. Still a cochlea there, but not really something crazy. Uh, would I like to get... You know what, yeah, definitely put the jackal here so it attacks a bit faster. Could I actually put that jackal here, 0 0.76, 0 0.73, it's almost the same. Not really a big difference. These guys explode. Uh, when they're connected, slimy doesn't really fit. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I have 398 coins. I'm gonna say let's sell this weak boxer and let's buy a new brain. So we can become a bit more powerful. And then we're gonna go with organs on the ground. So this is gonna be a buff, of course. <laughs> this was like a given. We're gonna get the 7% dodge chance. And then while the buff is active, I guess we can say both of these happen. And none of these happen because they don't do anything. We can't connect them with anything. So let's go into Rolaron. There isn't really anything to be done here. But at least now we're going to be setting up the buff on the ground. So I guess that's it. Although, now that I think about it, this was a mistake. I should have set up the poison on the ground. Poison puddles or pretty much anything. Well, it doesn't matter. Explosions are happening, so I'm good with it. Continue looping everything around. Seems like the starfish are hitting things off screen. Uh, depending on what opponents we're fighting, the star with the... Oh, oh almost got it there. Uh, depending on what opponents we're fighting, the starfish, when they fly out, hit something. Like, when opponents come from all over the places, the first starfish I throw out hits, like, five things. And then it just activates five dragons, etc, etc. While on the other hand, when only one or two of the star dragons hit, and when the starfish hit, we don't get all these effects going on. Hey, look, it's an elite with a whippersnapper on laser beam coming out of them. I still haven't found fruit, which is very important to get. And I also haven't found pretty much anything that can spawn the fruit. Which, uh, honestly speaking, I would need like a spine of the mammoth with 500% efficiency. Right? I need a very slow activating spine that has a high enough efficiency to be able to activate a fruit every second. And then we can definitely do some crazy stuff with that. Because imagine getting a shield every 2.5 seconds. Or imagine getting a heal every 2.5 seconds. I mean, the shield is definitely better because it doesn't care about how much max life you have. But I think the heal is easier to produce. I think the heal has a higher uh, frequency thing on its own. Nice, we found an Ellie Chew and a Puffer, so we can combine that, which is a lot better. Damage taken modifications increase, and this also connects with a million things. Nice, we found a Snail again, we found a Living Dead on Organ Death. This is useless because we're not going to be spawning anything. So organ death is not going to happen. I see the root here, but can't do anything about it. We're going to take this. Wings and beams. Affected by wings. Uh, actually, this is not that good. Affected by poison bag or belly. This this is better. We can get even more connections going. I think we're going to go with this. Although taking this and selling it would be better. For power. You know what? Let's take this. Upgrade reward. Ah, mutant for money, I would say. Actually, another poison. Let's go with another poison. Swordfish for attack. Pierce for projectiles 3. I mean, better than these two. We'll just reroll for 20. It was the, uh, let's reroll for 20. Raven with uh, Lemon Tentacle. Yeah, let's go with that. Once again, this is useless. Uh, cochlea is if when it expires, so at the very end of it. I would say this is mediocre. Let's reroll for 20 here. Cat. Well, <laughs> this is the Cochlea. So this is the when expires effect. Uh, I don't really enjoy the when expires effect. Actually, no, I will take this. This is good. That's a good Cochlea because I can definitely put the Cochlea here. Right? I mean, the right side's not gonna exist. Wait, why though? Oh, this doesn't connect to Cochlea. Yeah, because the the Starfish is good with an on expire effect, but I don't have anything here to be done with this. I guess I would say, let's make this a Puffer, and let's make this an Ellie Chew. This, by the way, just got a lot more powerful. And while it lasts, it does nothing, because we didn't get a single weapon. <laughs> Whoopsie. I guess everything around us is poisoned. I guess. 
And then if anything dies from the poison or while the poison is active on opponents, the opponents leave the buff on the ground. Actually, leave the Elytru on the ground, instantly making them take more damage. And then if uh, that contributes, no, when that expires, so when they die pretty much, nothing. I guess if that contributes to a kill, nothing. Well, can't connect it further. Can we connect anything to these parts? When this machine gun effect expires, nothing. <laughs> I don't have limbs, I don't have things to connect. I guess we're gonna keep things as they are. Let's get an organ. Let's roll this. I found a beetle. Let's get a beetle to throw it out. You know, let's just get this beetle <laughs> to throw it out. Um, maybe the laser is gonna be better, but honestly. So once again, everything around us gets poisoned. Whatever gets poisoned, Elichu on the ground. And if the Elichu contributes to a kill, it throws out the boomerang. And I mean, theoretically, the Elichu should always contribute to kills. So, um... Unless I'm not understanding how this works. 500 points. Let's go with drop chance. So we start to become more powerful. I would say let's sell this. Yep. I definitely need some organs to actually attack. Let's go battle. Wave 10. This is going to be a boss wave. So I hope this is going to work. Here is our poison. So we still have the... the Yeah, we still have the whips going out. Uh, the only difference is now I'm also myself activating a poison. So when something goes close to us... It will definitely be poisoned. That is the plan here. And then while those, while the specific poison that the, the while the specific poison that I am throwing out is affecting opponents, they will be leaving on the ground some things. I want to see how good we're gonna be against the elite here that's about to arrive. But I'm a bit more afraid about all these things around us. Can I please find the root, by the way? Can I please get the main thing this character is supposed to get? It's, it's not like I avoided picking up a root or anything. I, th I think I just straight up never found a single one. I might be wrong about this. My memory has a lot of times proven that I don't have a good memory. But in this specific instance, I feel like I'm not wrong. Let's continue just staying around. Now, this guy actually leaves Elichu on the ground and he's dead. He's toast. Very nice. Now we're going to get a bunch of money out of this. Cool, 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 cool. Let's loop around. I do enjoy the whip idea though. I do enjoy that they're poisoned for 1 and 2 damage and then flap the whip flies out and just connects everything with a 100 damage laser beam, boom, beam and just everything gets shredded. This is a nice chill vibes build in my opinion. And uh, the, the, the combos man, the combos. Like we used to always do boomerang with blades, uh, boomerang with poison and with bellies and now we start having different things. We got a nice jackal over here and chimpanzee and puffer. Can I please get a weapon? I see this thing. I, I don't want this thing. <laughs> um, let's take something else other than that thing. We found another poison that stacks infinitely. <laughs> now you at long last and found a weapon. Let's go. So, um, have I seen a single boomerang fly out? I think Elichu doesn't actually work with contribution damage. This does though. So if this poison... Wait a minute. I have a poison around us. Let's switch these. I have a poison around us. If this... You know, forget that. If, if this poison that's around us contributes to a kill... Then it throws out a boomerang. And then that boomerang mid-flight leaves Elichu on the ground. Okay, actually forget that. Leaves poison on the ground. Even more poison. Oh, and uh, also switch these. Yeah, th this Elichu here. And while they're poisoned, they also leave Elichu on the ground. Yeah, I enjoy this. Can I connect even further here? So when that poison contributes the slash, I guess we could do that. Or we can just say, oh, they're connected the slash. This is so much worse. When the laser contributes to kill... They, uh, when this expires, oh, when the, when the machine gun expires, slash, yeah, that's better. So, when the laser snaps opponents, when they die, they explode, and also, when they die, they, uh, shoot out a triple shot, and when that triple shot hits anything or expires, just slash all around. This is still the same, yeah, the, the loop-de-loop -loop around this is still the same. And then over here we say, we have a poison effect, while that poison effect lasts on opponents, they get electrified, so they take 70% more damage once in a while, and then also... When they die, um, they from the poison from this poison we put out, it throws out the boomerang, and that boomerang mid-flight leaves another poison puddle on the ground. So we're once again doing a bunch of things with poison. Uh, let's go with I would say damage. I need to start getting effect radius. You know what? Let's go with effect radius. I have never done an effect radius build, so I would like to see what this looks like. And let's also get the crit chance because why not? Uh, yeah, let's get an effect radius build. I do enjoy it when you get effect radius in games. So once again, yeah, the explosion did happen. You see, everything that I poison explodes on death. So that's nice. And we just got a... What is this called? We just got a, a Schrodinger thing. That is the on low life they die. I think that's better than poison. 
just a smidge better. Mm, not, not that much better, but it can definitely combo into more things easily because the moment they get the shorter gun effect applied, it doesn't matter from what they die, they will definitely get hit by the consume, you know, the execution effect, I would say. Oh man, do you see the slashes? Yeah, nice. The slashes are actually working. Which is exactly what I wanted them to be. So whoever is poisoned gets hit by the laser and then the laser makes them explode and slash. That's very enjoyable. Honestly, I do really enjoy this. That we have this madness going on around. And honestly, I will also increase size, radius or whatever. The thing that we just said is new. Movement speed is also a thing we want to get because we're moving very slowly. And uh, something else I would really like to get is fruits. Can I please get fruits? Can I get the shield fruit? <laughs> Can I get the main thing that we're supposed to be doing with this character? I mean, if I don't get it, it's okay, but <laughs> it's a bit weird, man. This guy's supposed to have like a specific unique effect going on. Maybe just increase the drop chance of the specific items those characters are supposed to get just a smidge. You know, not break it, not give us 20,000 roots, but like a 10% increase on finding the specific weapon. Here's the shorting effect with 8%. This is very good if it was like 11%, which I, I'm not even sure that that's possible. And we got uh, on hit. <laughs> on 600 hits, yeah, that's not gonna happen. A boxer that connects the tentacle and boys bag and whatnot. And a raven that connects the limbs and tentacle. You know what, we're gonna once again go with a contribute. I do enjoy the raven a bit better. Slimy once again, raven. Yeah, let's get more slimy. One the lizard here and a chimpanzee. Um, with connects. This connects to glands. This is laser. This connects to the electricity thing. So, I could theoretically put it here. And instead of the laser activating every 2.53, we could have it every 1.63, so that's like just a lot faster. And then we can just have all these connections going out. See the fire lizard once again for the explosions and whatnot. This is also really... Uh, let's get the chimpanzee. And let's, I would say, buy another brain. 750, 700 for the last brain. I'm going to say let's buy it. So uh, we would say let's sell the kangaroo. 600 hits is a bit too much. And uh, let's also sell... You know, because I'm thinking about actually getting even more of these. Affected by wings. This is useless. Let's sell it. I even took it to sell it. And let's buy another brain. Let's go to the new brain. And we're going to say that the fastest one... Oh, this is a very fast gland activation. But this is like a 300 power one. So we're going to go with every always. Activate a laser. And then if that laser contributes to kill, nothing. But while the laser lasts on opponents, I guess we're going to go with a very fast activation of nothing. God, I enjoy that. You know what? Forget this. Forget this whole idea. Let's go with a puffer. Actually, let's go with a slimy. 195 power, 144 power. We're gonna go with a puffer then. We're gonna go with a puffer into a Schrodinger, into a slimy, into this thing. So whoever dies, no, whoever is affected by this, leaves on the ground. That's so bad. No, no, forget that. Whoever is connected by that, very fast, throws out the net on whoever is poison bag affected. And then it, it doesn't matter what I put here. Uh, can I? Could I put something that is even connectability? I guess the only thing here possible is slimy into wings. And if it happens, it happens. The rest of the build is okay. Honestly, I want to throw one of these two out. I'm gonna say let's throw out the one that. Um... Wow, this, what? This activates slower. Explain to me this, okay? I would really like the dev... Oops, sorry for this big button. The dev or somebody who can actually understand here. I understand that these are randomized, but this is extremely bad. Like, look at this. This says 1.63, so this activates once every 1.63, okay? Uh, it has 300 efficiency, so let's first get these two going. So this is 1.26, so it activates faster. Okay, and it also has more efficiency, 300, 323, so that's done. This connects to two things, well, this connects to three things. Once again, this is better. And then this attacks with limbs, tentacle, offspring, and gland. And this attacks with limbs, tentacle, gland. So limb, both have limbs, tentacle, gland, and this also has offspring. So wow, how, how does the randomization happen and make it worse? Like, we're gonna throw this away just because out of principle, you know. We're gonna also throw this away because out of principle again, bye-bye. We're gonna still keep the very fast attack speed version. Uh, oh, we are, we're actually not even going to keep it, but we're going to even use it here so it attacks a smidge faster. This is this is just unbelievable to me. Like, I, I don't know, man. I might be too much, you know, classic sift. Let's go best damage up and let's actually do the run. Like, I might be a bit too much on my assessment here on how bad that is. But honestly, it's... Am I wrong about this? Like, uh, what? I understand that it's random. But shouldn't you try to at least uh, get some kind of... 
you know, mathematical formula of how RNG works. For example, if it's a rare weapon, then it gets, I guess, 10 points of power. When it's, if it's a blue one, then it gets 7 points of power. And if it's a common one, it gets like 5 points of power or 4 points of power. And then those points of power are pretty much if they have less attack, a better attack speed, or if they have better power, or if they have uh, better connections or more connections, like if they're more utility based or, or whatever like that. I think, I think just having everything roll low is just such a disastrous thing or you could yeah maybe you could be like okay we're gonna have like a range of rolls that we get for example it can have a chimpanzee can roll from once per second up to 1.2 times per second actually the opposite uh, once every 1.2 seconds uh, up to once per second right and then you're gonna say the lower this is then the better the percentage is going to be of the power or the more it can connect to the less choices it has or i don't know man i i don't know they could definitely make some kind of algorithmic um, I guess change to make them better on the other hand you might say you know no sift that's just too much work for the dev just leave it be yolo random it's just you know a phasma or whatever but I don't know man Nawal for money I guess oh, yeah let's go Nawal for money beetle here for throw something out I still have not found a single route okay a single one this is tentacle and limb we're gonna take this this one's gonna, again connects with nothing Gem rats, another explosion. I think I want to take this. A single root, a single one I haven't found. So Schrodinger effect, when it applies on opponents, it does links. You know what? Let's go with... Oh, this doesn't connect to anything good. Spine and intestine only. And lungs, of course, but that's just not going to happen. Well, I guess it also throws out boomerangs. I don't know, man. When this laser contributes to a kill, it throws out a boomerang. I guess, or it explodes, to be honest. This connects to retina? Retina is when this expires. This this always expires. No, retina is the eye when it contributes damage. So we're gonna go with boomerang. So we apply the Schrodinger effect. If the opponent somehow survives for 0.81 seconds, they connect with lasers. And then if they also somehow survive with that, they uh, leave this on the ground, which is just, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> All of this is just straight up not gonna happen. <laughs> Let's be serious about this. Um, can I put something better on these? The Ellie Chew on poison effect. You know what? When this poison around us kills an opponent, they explode. That is such a better effect. And also they throw out the boomerang. I mean, that part was also a thing. Does that even work? I don't even know if it works. Ah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Does it? I don't think it matters. This doesn't connect. This is uh, still the same with this. Yeah, just poison on the ground and poison on the poison. I think the run exists. Okay, the run is good. Let's go with effect radius. And I would say let's continue with base damage. And uh, even more base damage. As you understand, we're never going to make the build that we wanted to get. Uh, this is on kill 61. Uh, well, guess what? This still only has bad choices, so we're going to throw that out. This is decent, but as always, not really useful. This is connects only to limbs. Also pretty decent-ish, but this is just straight up better. So let's forget this. We're not going to use that. Elytru is always good too, but could I somehow put it somewhere where it would be worthwhile? Yeah, definitely here. I prefer an Elytru here than wings. Like, who cares about these wings? In general, who cares about these wings? But let's keep them just in case. But I have all my brains done already, so these are not going to get used. And this Nawal is definitely not going to get used. I still believe Nawal is very bad. Uh, I guess we can also throw this away. And I would say let's also throw the wings away. We're not going to use it. We're still going to keep a Jackal just in case we need attack speed. And I would say let's go with movement speed so we can avoid some things. And uh, into the run we shall go. Nice. Let's... Whoa, instant death there on everything. Nice. Poison bottles and hands and everything. Man, I have to say, bigger area is awesome. I love it. I love having huge puddles. I love having huge zones. It's just enjoyable. Chill vibes. Oh, we got our box for legendary. Maybe it's going to be a good one. It doesn't really matter if it is or not at the end of the day. We still got, uh, you know, a decent build going. Nice, fun in our retina. Now the... Tr <laughs> Can I please get a hammer slammer or like another slash or, you know, weapons? Can I please stop getting all these activators and all those things here? We Nope, nope. We only get <laughs> activators. Only activators. Not a single weapon have this has gotten... You know, from all the things I'm asking for, the one I really would like to get at least one of is a root. And then also something that allows me to use the roots. Because I, I'm not sure if you saw, but not only did we not find the root, but we haven't found a single 
um, spine or anything that drops roots, like that activates roots. I have actually I have seen some, but I haven't picked them up because we didn't have the roots then. Uh, and the build even ha doesn't have to do with that at all. Oh, the slashes. How an awesome. Awesome, awesome. Man, look how many poison puzzles we have. And all of these poisons, by the way, all of them are the infinite stacking version. Hey, look, we got a weapon. Nice. That it actually happened. I was wrong about this never happening. Very nice. Let's continue running around. And theoretically, we should be done here. Nice. Didn't uh, lose anything. We found our boxer that connects to limbs and tentacles. So it's a decent boxer. Also found the projectile without connecting to anything. Tentacle offsprings again. Limbs on expire. Glands offsprings. Let's see what we get. We found something that spawns roots. Nice. This is actually good. Activate the rights long enough for 4 seconds without taking damage. So every 4 seconds I didn't take damage. I activate the root or the gland or the tentacle or the limb or whatever. With 700 power. Is that a good idea? I don't know. I could go for the worm with a nerf. With an unhit effect that is. So I think this is the play. <laughs> Projectile amount 1. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna take this. I I still have not found a single root, so we found a bullfrog with a couple of good connections on crits. I don't really care about it on crits. If I, let's ask it to bullfrog so we can continue what we're going on with any another laser hit. So we still have not found a single root. <laughs> we continue with that. Swift complains about not having found roots and then doesn't actually try to get a root item. <laughs> let's, um, you know what, let's actually make this faster to activate. What could we do here? Thinking about what we could do, maybe with weapons. First of all, we can connect a loop-de-loop -loop here. But that loop-de-loop -loop has only nerves, so it's on hit. It does something. Thinking about throwing this part away. Actually, this whole part here works so well. I don't even want to change it. This is an on hit effect, right? Yeah, like, we could say that when this loop-de-loop -loop here... Nah, I don't want to change anything on this. Maybe on these ones, I could change some things. This is an on expire. And this expires easily. No, that's also not something I really would like to have. You know, everything really works. Maybe maybe this, but even then, this loop-de-loop -loop only connects to nerve. Now that I'm thinking about this, is very weak. Like, loop-de-loops connecting to nerves don't really do anything. This connects to intestines, so at least... Have I ever seen the boomerang? I'm not sure I have ever seen the boomerang fly out. But I have definitely seen these explosions. Wait a minute, this, this poison has a bullfrog effect. So while something is poisoned with bullfrogs... Wait, can I do this here too? No, this poison does not have a bullfrog, but this one does. Like, I could say that I poison opponents, and when they're poisoned, they poison more opponents. Wait a minute, I got an idea here. So we can go like this. So, we got a weaker poison here, but that doesn't matter because this poison here is like 16 damage. It's a lot stronger. But it doesn't matter right now, because the idea is the following. Oh, this also connects to lungs. Okay. So, uh, connect these, please. So, we got the poison we already had. And we're gonna say, while these guys are poisoned, they instantly, because this is a thing, they poison again. Ha! That's the play. And then when this poison... Actually, when this poison... Forget that poison. Also, when this poison um, uh, contributes to kill, it uh, it, explo it, it, looped, it explodes. It explodes. And then when this explosion contributes to kill, right? I'm gonna go with a 234 power version. It, uh, it loop de loops Actually, it triple machine guns. You see, a lot better. So, now the idea is, we have a poison around us every once in a while. And when that poison hits anything, those anythings are gonna be poisoned. So, whoever is poisoned are gonna output a bullfrog with a poison effect. While also, they have the first poison effect. When they die from that, when the poison itself contributes to damage, they explode and they also... Um, they also shoot out the machine gun effect. I'm not about sure about if this explosion combo hits here. It would be better to have something else here, but I don't really think we can put anything there. Or I could say like a loop-de-loop. -loop, and then when the loop-de-loop -loop hits, right? Like when the loop-de-loop -loop hits anything, this one, the more powerful version, then the, the anything explodes. Can I please pick these up? Yeah, then whatever. I guess this is better. I guess this is better. Yeah, I think I enjoy that more. So whenever something from the poison dies, it throws out the loop-de-loop, -loop, whatever the loop-de-loop -loop hits, explodes. That's better and easier to do. And also they poison themselves. Nice. I could also say when this poison does something. Ah, whatever. I don't think so. Then we also have the laser lines. We already enjoy this. It's pretty powerful. And then we also have this thing here, which is also pretty powerful, in my opinion. And last but not least, we got the Schrodinger effect. While it lasts, it also shoots out Elichu and like boomerangs, which I'm not sure I've ever seen these either work. But uh, I guess it is what it is. Could I not put something here? Yes, I could. 
I could put like a machine gun effect over there. Uh, do I have other slots that I could put things in? I could put things in here. I could. I couldn't put things here, but I could definitely put things here. So I would say, let's go culture. Let's go bring capacity at least once. So we can put those point one pointers in. So first of all, we got a one pointer here. So every once in a while, we shoot out, I guess, a machine gun effect because why not? It's just damage. We're going to say this thing here when on hit throws out the boomerang because why not? Once again, just damage. And then also once in a while, I shoot out the laser web because why not? Once again, it's damage. Both of these are going to connect. And then we're going to go with even more effective radius if I can do so. So uh, this cochlea was not able to connect to anything. Right? Yeah, when... Oh, wait a minute. Contribute to damage or expire? It's the same thing. The laser expire anyway. The only difference is that this does more damage. So uh, is there an on expire effect somewhere around here? Not really. I guess the cochlea is really good with uh oh it doesn't actually show where you can connect it to no it can con it, it does show so in general the cochlea is good with um i guess with effects like these with effects that just uh, kill an opponent when they expire on the spot yeah we're gonna just keep what we have i'm gonna throw away the slimy we're gonna also throw away which of these two is worse well guess what <laughs> once again this is slower than everything else and this is once again just straight up better let's throw this away uh, this is the slow version. Let's also throw this away. Let's also throw this away. This one actually. And we have 485. I want 600. So I do enjoy this boxer. I'm going to say let's throw away this. The weak version. Let's throw away this. And let's throw away one last thing. I guess this one. And we're going to go with even more area because I find it fun. Now that we got this new area effect. Okay. Okay. Everything's just a smidge bigger. Wow, wow, the swords are huge. The swords are huge, at least. I still have all the other effects going on. Everything just explodes all over the place. We're at wave 14. There should be a boss fight in a moment. And after that, we should be winning. Because I think the build is pretty decent and powerful. I don't even think we need to change anything. The laser beams are seem to be doing the, be the most job here. The laser beams really feel like they are the star of the show. Let's see how good we are against bosses. As this is a good chance. Still have not found a single fruit, by the way. <laughs> this is a b oh, we sh I see the boomerangs for the first time. I mean, I am known to be blind, as I've said a bunch of times. But I'm actually seeing the boomerangs now on action. And wow, we, we kill the enemy pretty fast-ish. Like, we, we definitely do a lot of damage and a lot of explosions are flying all over the place. And the thing with the laser connections, really cool. We got another wings. Pretty useless of course. Man, the, the laser beams connecting everything together is awesome. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. The, the, the start from this run until the end, this whole idea with connecting opponents with lasers because they're poisoned is awesome, and I really love it. This um, it, it really felt like a lasso effect or like a snap effect. Oh, you're poisoned? Boom, get lasered. And then uh, two seconds later, the lasers explode and throw out swords and boomerangs and whatnot. So, very awesome design, at least in my opinion. And I also like that we have these poison circles and whatnot around us. What is this, stationary? <laughs> Forget the station. Hey, look, this activates roots. <laughs> Lungs. I still have not found a single root, by the way. Uh, I guess starfish, but it connects with cochlea. Cochlea is on expire, so this is better, but it has pierce 6. So, this means it will literally go to the end of the way and then expire at the very end. I'm gonna still take it, though. Spine of the Jackal and Hornet. I guess I could take the Hornet, which has nerfs and cochlea. This also is on expire. Uh, or another poison. <laughs> Let's go Hornet. And uh, I guess I can go another Hornet. Chain amount, project level 2. A Raptor on crits. Whatever, money, I guess. I don't think anything really fits. I don't I don't really think yeah, anything really fits. I guess this is on expire. This is the projectile thing with triple sword. Yeah, that's just better. You know, I don't think I want to just use anything. I don't think I want to change anything. Just just keep the build as is. Let's just sell everything and go for the win, in my opinion. Just take the win and go on. The build is good. We have the laser. We have the whatever I want. I'm going to go with effective radius just because I enjoy it. And we're going to go with base damage and movement speed, I would say. Uh, let's go movement speed, actually, just to be sure that we're not going to randomly die. As movement speed is what carries you. And then what gives us damage? This, we have that. We don't have that, actually. Let's go with crit chance, then. And uh, that's pretty much it. Crit damage once. Nice. Into the run we shall go. Into the win we shall go. And let's try to win. Poison has activated. Boom. Everything connects with everything. 
Hey, look, it's an elite. Hey, look. Oh, they're still alive. Did I get hit? I think I just got hit. Yeah, imagine if we lose last moment. I mean, I'm okay with it. The only reason why I would not be okay with losing is the fact that I would like to unlock the new character. Other than that, you know, that's the only thing that is actually pressuring me, in, pr pressuring me into wanting to win. The fact that there are characters behind winning. Um, otherwise, like, the moment I unlock the last character, I won't care about that anymore. I just want to care about the weapons themselves. Hey, by the way, I'm also seeing electricity, which means the Ellie True effect is actually full-on in action. Which is really nice to see. And look at this, the two bosses connected hand-to-hand, laser-to-laser, taking 400 damage per second. In a moment, one of these two is gonna get swollen up by... swallowed whole by the hand. Look what's happening! Look, look what's happening! Because of all the lasers that are connected to them, and because they they all have all the effects in their toast, they both got grabbed by the hand. 20% insta kill effect there. Really powerful. Man, Ellie True. So many things are powerful in this game. So many things are powerful in this game, and that's why I enjoy it. I just want them to add more ideas about um yeah, more, more connectors, more more things. They definitely should maybe introduce a whole new system, like a side upgrade system or something. You know what they should do? They should create a new organ type that connects with the left side right only with the left side like it's going to be that's my idea and opinion here if the dev ever watches this by the way if you're the dev and you watch this please come down below and tell me that you are the dev and then whatever you want to say because otherwise i can't really recognize who's a dev or not and i'm gonna most likely gonna pin your comment too so as i was trying to say an idea here before i end the video what a busted build we're having what the awesome connections we're having i'm gonna say the opinions here my ideas here at the end after we win um, so yeah, look at this, busted, loved it. So my idea, a new organ that connects from the only, doesn't do anything from the right side. I'm gonna see what the reversal is. And the madness, we unlock two, two new characters. So, uh, reversal and madness. Madness is this, a million health. Each organ has, a uh, prototype the sacrifice life for ultimate core. Each organ has no vessel, with no vessel. Each organ with no vessel grants harm percent efficiency to the left side organ. Each organs with no vessel runs a harm percent efficiency to the left side organs is vessel does vessel means that the right side is empty so does that mean empty organs with no right side power up the left side organ that's what i understand here so if you have like a machine gun effect as the last um, kingpin it makes itself pretty much more powerful but if you have like a double connector then and put on the top one something that is one-sided then it powers up the left side making the bottom one better you lose one hp for every four organs with vessels linked at the start of waves Maximum HP cannot be modified. Okay, this is a very easy character to play with. And uh, let's also see the other one we unlocked. The reversal. So, um... Friend with growth, but strong initial power. Linked organs have 100% efficiency. Monsters never drop cells. Have higher organ drop chance. Okay, you just get a bunch of organs for free, but... You don't get money at all. I guess you get a very high organ drop chance because otherwise this is literally not working. So yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And subscribing always helps too. If you want to see more, you know, we're shooting these videos every day. And let me now put out the really quickly here for anybody that wants to care about this. My idea, they should just in introduce new organs. Very simple mechanic here. They never ever have a right side. Like you cannot connect them further. Or if, if you want to, you can connect them further, but it would make sense. And they would say something like, um, the left side organ gets XYZ. Like the left side organ gets more attack speed or the left side organ does more damage or the left side organ poisons or the left side organ um i guess uh, splits into two after the attacks like the idea is that some organs that like have two connectors on the right side or one connector to the right side you put that as a last pin and then retroactively it makes the left side organ better i don't know how it would exactly work or function but i mean that's for the dev to um i guess decide i'm just throwing an idea out here and um you know it's like idea bouncing you bounce an idea and then the other one is like oh you know what i could do something with this not not the way you explained it but maybe i that triggered inside me an idea that i could implement right so i'm just you know spitballing pretty much to maybe spew a bit ideas and you know what you could also come down below come down below and throw some ideas of what other new organ or maybe a new system could get introduced to this thing to make it even more complex even more crazy or you know with the already working system what would work and honestly if you have the game don't forget that this button here introduce you into the discord if you want to join so maybe go over there and help the dev i i have no idea how active or not they are but i see this game getting a patch every day and um I mean, yeah, they seem to change wordings, they seem to change mechanics, like the cochlea changed like two days ago, 
instead of being on, not the cochlea, the, the eye, the retina changed. Instead of being uh, when this thing kills something, it now is when this contributes to a kill, which is just straight up a million times better. And um, who knows what other changes they're going to do. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.